Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Eumanns. And I'm Jordan Asbacker, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's County Commissioner has backed off of a proposed property tax hike. Instead of opting to cut back on operational expenses in the proposed 2020 budget, the board, during a budget work session on Tuesday, conceded to reduce baseline costs by $2.2 million, decreasing funds for the school board, pare down funding for some positions requested by the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office and opted against funding pay parity for law enforcement. Four of the commissioners presented three separate race conciliations outlining a path to a balanced budget without tax increases. A discovery of asbestos has prompted the St. Mary's County school system to replace the floors at two elementary schools. The county school board at its Wednesday meeting approved contracts at cost $43,000 for Letty Marshall Dent and $24,000 for Mechanicsville Elementary School. Flooring construction or abatement needs to happen in several areas of both schools. The floor at Dent was originally installed in 1980, whereas the floor in Mechanicsville was installed in 1979. Dent needs renovations in its cafeteria, gymnasium, art room, and six other rooms. Four rooms are getting complete floor replacements at Mechanicsville. The St. Mary's County Commissioners agreed Tuesday to fund $4,000 for the Unified Committee for Afro-American Contributions, as they have in the past years, but raised questions about the nonprofit appeals process. The process is flawed, a sentence said by the Commissioner John O'Connell, who abstained from a motion to approve the funding because of that position. Funding for the UCAC was denied in March after the group's application failed to meet the 60-point threshold required for the funding approval prompting debate among county lawmakers over whether the funding should just be granted given the organization's established track record, or the group should follow an appeals process put in place. The American Civil Liberties Union hailed Monday a federal judge's decision to grant a preliminary injunction halting the deportation to China of a St. Mary's restaurant owner, who was briefly taken out of the United States last year. Wan Rong Lin, who lives in St. Mary's, said, I'm so happy it was hard for me to be away from my family. According to an ACLU release, U.S. District Judge George J. Hazel's finding against a trap for unsuspecting applicants referring to a U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement practice of detaining immigrants for deportation when they show up for scheduled meetings and interviews required as part of their effort to gain legal status. On Wednesday, the Smack Tennis Tournament attempted to conclude at St. Charles High School but it didn't, with three matches left to play and no team champion was crowned. Three brackets were able to complete all of the matches to determine first through fourth place, while girls singles is awaiting the winner of the consolation match, and the girls doubles is awaiting to crown a champion and have a consolation match winner. The remaining matches were scheduled to be finished on Thursday. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Jessica Eumanns. And I'm Jordan Amsbacker, signing off.